What started out as a traffic stop for a broken headlight quickly turned into state police officers busting through the suspect's front door and tasing him inside his home. News 13 Stephanie Chavez shows us the body cam footage from the night of the arrest. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground. This is the moment New Mexico State Police officers tased Russell Sandlin inside his Santa Fe apartment. You have no right to tase me, my According to the criminal complaint, a state police officer attempted to pull Sandlin over for a broken headlight, but Sandlin kept driving, eventually turning into an apartment complex, parking his car, and running up the stairs to his second story home. No, I will tase you, dude. Officers eventually force entry into the apartment. You can't see a lot in the video because all of the lights in the apartment are off. But you can hear Sandlin's mom screaming. <laughs> After a couple of minutes of fighting with officers, they're able to cuff Sandlin. That's when officers notice. Yeah, he's pretty intoxicated. And when they search his car. Hada, your car has a heavy odor of alcohol? After taking him into custody, they talked to Sandlin's mom. He fled, he ran from them and entered. Okay, so where hold was on. he when they and, did that? And, and, right here. And entered, oh. and entered into this apartment, uh, which caused a lot of grief for you, uh, correct? I was sleeping. Exactly. So he entered into this apartment, and my officer did his job and took him into custody. No, he tased him. Yeah. Video shows officers asking Sandlin if he was willing to take a field sobriety test, which he denies, saying he's dehydrated and needs. Water. If you could please give me some water, I can finish asking you a question. I can barely <coughs> talk to you right now. After going back and forth for a few minutes, Sandlin does agree to take a breathalyzer. The complaint says alcohol was detected on the breathalyzer, but did not say what his BAC level was. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. Sandlin was charged with a slew of crimes, including battery upon a peace officer, resisting arrest, and DWI. Sandlin's case has since been dismissed, but those charges can be refiled. We reached out to the DA's office to find out why they dismissed the case but did not hear back.